I like the sound of the of the whole track as it is at this moment, but it is not as punchy as it can get. So first, I think that the the the, the kick it's starting to sound quite cool, but I think we can we can we can make it sound a little bit more punchier. So the first thing to do is going to be finding a place where we have some crazy kick action. Let's see over here. Yeah, that's. Uh, plenty of there are plenty of kicks over there so we're gonna open up this guy and we're gonna clear up some of the room I'm gonna solo and it is already solo as you can see here over here girls and boys yep I'm gonna solo the kick drum and from there I'm going to confirm that we are uh, removing some of the rumble being generated by the kick drum if you have been following the channel before you already have an idea uh, what I'm talking about so if you don't know uh, anything about it I have some video somewhere around the screen after this or you can go to the rest of the uh, uh, the, the YouTube channel once we're finished so you can find something related to kick drums because it's important or something so we're gonna remove the the, the rumble uh, that goes on uh, inside of the kick and here we go Okay, from there, I feel like the kick drum is not thick enough. It's not that um, bassy sounding. It's not. Um, it's not filling the gaps in between the different notes of the of the track. So it's time to make it sound punchier, a little bit more uh, deeper. So I'm gonna give a shot to the equalizer, and if it doesn't work, I'm gonna use a different tool. Okay, it starts to sound like a real uh, kick drum. So let's bring back the rest of the re of the mix. The guitars are quite quite annoying, so we're gonna uh, uh, get rid of them. Now the kick drum is quite boxy. So how to fix it? We're gonna find the uh, frequency over here using this section of the of the equalizer. We're gonna find the frequency that it's add, uh, that it's uh, creating this boxy sound in the kick. One of the many reasons why we get this issue is because usually, and this is kind of a fact, I, I, there might be something scientific uh, related to this, but um, kick drums usually have problems around 250 hertz. So I'm gonna set our uh, our uh, frequency selector somewhere around that region, and I'm gonna uh, guesstimate and remove a certain amount of uh, energy, just three dBs, and see what happens. Okay, we got rid of some of the math, but the bass, it's quite annoying. So we're gonna go to our bass channel and we're gonna use a different EQ. Let's see if this guy gets the job done. If it doesn't, we're gonna change. But um, let's remove some of the uh, uh, horrible uh, uh, math being generated by the bass by using our usual filter. Here we go. Now we're gonna make it a little bit more uh, punchier and the way to do it is by using this guy over here. That's our uh, low frequency boost. So here we go. I'm gonna probably, hmm, I think that probably somewhere in 160 might get the job done. I don't know. It might, it might not. There's no way to know. Here we go. <laughs> wow, the difference is gigantic. I'm gonna play it back to you with 
and then without, okay? So first it's gonna be with and then without. Remember, girls and boys, the only thing that we have done so far on the base was removing some of the uh, annoying low end and we added uh, a little bit of uh, deep, deepness to the sound. So first with. Nice, nice, I am starting to like it, but I am still concerned with the sound of the kick. So what I'm gonna do is gonna be this. I'm gonna use a new plugin that has become one of my favorite and mainstays of my um, arsenal, which is the super powerful bass mint. And let me see where I put it. Uh, well, it's gonna be here. It's gonna be inside of the... Um, Plugin Alliance, Plugin Alliance, here it is. Jesus Morphe. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, here it is. That's what happens when you've been doing this for forever. So, <laughs> this guy, it's awesome. It's, uh, it's the best and I think one of the best tools for kick drums in the market at this moment. It's amazing. It does several things. It doesn't do just one thing. It, and the way that it works is like this. We have this area over here, the mode, on which we have a plethora of different uh, algorithms that we can select. And all of them are doing something different to the, to the sound of, the, of, your, of your material. And we get a powerful EQ section over here, which is awesome. So <laughs> what I'm going to do is I'm going to mess around with this plugin to make the kick drum to sound a little bit thicker. Okay, a little bit more punchier and, and, and ballsy, if that's a proper term. So I'm gonna solo because I want to confirm that we are doing what I wanna see what the plugin is actually doing on the on the sound of the kick. And from there I'm gonna I'm gonna pull back the I'm gonna bring back the back back the rest of the mix and we're gonna uh, mess around with the sound of the kick drum in in the context of the mix. Here we go, girls and boys. <laughs> wow, <laughs> wow, I am speechless. So it's working already and I just uh, tried out the first, the first, um, the first algorithm. Let's see how it sounds like with the rest of the mix. Okay, okay, so my bass is a little bit boring and it's not punchy, as punchy as I would like it to be. It's kind of a stale in a way. So I'm gonna bring back the guitars because I want to confirm that our bass, it's not messy. I don't want to mess around with the sound and the low end of the guitars. Once I started, I, start, I get started with uh, the sound of bass. So let's see. I think that our bass is kind of boring sounding, so um, we're gonna do a crazy thing. I'm gonna uh, uh, send a bus, I'm gonna use one of my actual tracks, and let me see which one we're gonna use. We're gonna use Nasty. Bam! Nasty is uh, it's a really weird uh, uh, setup that I have, and it's comprised of two different plugins. It's the Debbie Luck and the Radiator. And these guys are, I love them because they are really, 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 really uh, obnoxious. The sound that they generate is, is over the top. It's one of them, it's a ridiculously bad, <laughs> uh, but in the best proper term, uh, uh, compressor, because it's really, really, really ridiculous. And Radiator, it's a really, 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 really uh, um, compromised <laughs> and really uh, limited EQ. But both of them are amazing for what they do. And 
for whatever reason, I got this uh, this array of plugins that works amazingly well. See what happens. I'm going to send a copy of the video.